So 17 years ago, uh, Joni called me up and she says, I want you to buy my company. And I, it's not very often you have someone come up and tell you that. Um, and I said, why is that, Joni? And she says, well, you take care of people and you take care of customers. And I want you to take care of my baby from that. And so I, I looked into it and uh, she was here two weeks ago, unfortunately. Uh, she flew to Florida and she goes, well, I'm not coming back until the sun comes up. So, so she couldn't make it today. But uh, two things that she reminded me of. Uh, one was that uh, I said, I don't know, Johnny, man. I don't know if I can make money in this company here. And uh, it's, it's a pretty competitive space. And so she I grabbed me by the hand yesterday and she goes, I can make any money, Wayne. <laughs> Yes. So today we get to make products for um, PC World and long-term implantable products that uh, help improve the lives of millions and millions of people throughout the world. And uh, that's a really important uh, part of who we are in our culture. So everybody takes a lot of pride in what we do here and uh, they really like what they do here. Uh, so one of the benefits ProMed has is when we get a good employee in here, it's very rare that they leave, so we don't get turnover. Um, and they refer people to us for when we need to hire. It's really easy for us to hire because they go tell all their friends. This is a great place to work and a great culture and something that you know you should be part of. It's a good place to show up to work every day. And Wayne takes care of everybody well, and, uh, and the employees take care of me very well. So I think once you walk around today, I hope you get a chance to meet a lot of the uh, employees uh, that are get to be uh, proud and show you what they're doing. And uh, I think you'll notice uh, uh, the culture that they have that they're part of is that they, they have a can-do attitude and they want to be part of it. They want to grow. Um, and that's just really important for all of them. And it's, uh, it's good to see people passionate uh, about what they're doing and every single day. And, People, when customers come in here, the most common uh, thing that I hear back from customers is that you can tell the culture when you walk into the program that it's a little bit different. That uh, customers come in here and right away they feel like they're part of the family and uh, they get to know faces and people and when they come back 10 years later, those people are still here and doing different things and growing. And so uh, it's, a, it's an important thing to have uh, that kind of a culture and build it and uh, I think that is my role with the company is to build the culture, have the vision and then uh, Pete, uh, the president here has brought in a lot of tools for all the employees to help um, lean manufacturing and how to do it efficient, how to improve quality and uh, once the employees get those tools uh, they, they take off and learn and they do great things. Uh, so Chrome has now moved from making just components, uh, silicone components to making complete devices packaging, labeling, uh, etc. And uh, now we're doing a lot of uh, active pharmaceuticals that we're introducing into the silicone that um, you'll see, talk to Mr. Arps out here and talk to him about that. Some very complex things and uh, very large pharmaceutical companies are coming to us asking us for help. They, they have a challenge. They, they can understand drugs, but they don't understand device. We got the device companies that are coming to us, and we understand device, but we don't understand drugs. So uh, we have to uh, satisfy both groups that way. And those are really exciting projects to be part of. And uh, one day it would be kind of fun to sit down and put a pencil to it. Like, how many hundreds of millions of people have our products gone into to help people throughout the world? It's, it's an amazing number. You know, you see Medtronic has their number of how many, you know, every second they touch a life. St. Jude Abbott is like every three seconds they touch a life. And we supply all of them, so if you add that up, you know, it's every half a second someone's life is improved by a product that we make. And that's really important. And uh, for me, that's very rewarding. Um, so, you know, when the, when the venture capital groups come up with their big fat checkbooks, I look at them and go, like, no, it's not money. It's not the money I'm all about. It's so great to be part of an industry that helps the world helps people develop. Uh, employees are really important as well. It's so fun to see an employee start out young and in their career and then grow and, and then you know, get to be old enough now that I start to see some old employees, kids starting to work for us. And uh, so that's always important as well. Um, 
So we have built a really good team here of employees. We've got a great customer base. I think we're just going to get momentum. I think if you get around the tours today, you can see some of the things we're doing in the future. Uh, we're very proud of it. If you'll notice, the employees are also very proud and uh, love talking about what they do. Um, so with that, I want to thank you. Uh, we have around us here today, we have vendors. We have, uh, thank you for your support. We have customers. Thank you for believing in us. I have family and friends that are here, and uh, I thank you for supporting us as well, for getting through it. Um, so we are pro it, we are strong, and we are going to be um, moving into the 21st century, continuing to help the world and make it a better place. So thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, it was very informative. It was nice to be able to see the building and all the capabilities that ProMed has. Um, it was uh, a lot more than I thought it was going to be. It was really nice learning about more about silicone um, molding and then also just the different automation and innovation that ProMed's been working on. Coolest thing I saw here was um, something I wasn't really aware of was how the mixing technology went. Um, color additives, um, the little cups and things you use, um, how much like, like cooking it was, but with like kind of a high tech spin and then the use of like single use type componentry and things like that when you added it to the mixing thing, I, I just wasn't aware of that. I like the mold flow. Uh, it's definitely something I think can help the industry and uh, we're gonna be investigating it ourselves. I seen something interesting about how you guys can deflash silicone. It's a tear off edge, I don't know what it's called, but it really sparks some interest for me. I didn't realize the partners that ProMed work so closely with, um, you know, the, the, the silicone people, um, the, the 3D molding, watching that simulation, and also the, uh, the your tooling guys that do, or do the mold making. So that was kind of a new thing for me. I think it's just really nice being able to see different employees and people that you don't always do business with. Um, it kind of adds a comfort level to be able to talk to them about things that maybe you haven't worked on before. Um, and for me personally, it was really nice being able to meet some of the quality folks. I really liked looking at uh, the process validation and how they're using uh, the SigmaSoft software to understand the flow through the silicone. Um, obviously, as the industry, the silicone hasn't really met there. And nice to see that they're working to further develop that software system. You know, the coolest thing that I was impressed with is what you see in all success, successful companies like this in the med tech, med device world is like, it's innovation, and the incredible amount of innovation, the collaboration with, with their customers that they do because the way they're adding value into the system and making such leaps is taking an idea that their client has, that their customer has, bringing their own expertise to it, and it's that collaboration and innovation where that space meets is so cool because that's, to me, where I've seen is where the magic happens. And so all of a sudden you get ideas and you have technology that can take leaps forward because everyone's collaborating and trying to figure out the best product. I'm always amazed at what they can figure out. Like, way beyond my, my grade level, that's for sure. The level of engineering and science that went into the silicone development and really how much engineering is really going into making quick and precise development of really good parts. Um, you just think of it as that they're molding silicone but it's it's really a lot more than that to make sure that good parts are coming out consistently and developing it very quickly. Some of the in-mold deflashing capabilities that you guys have. Those are pretty neat and I think they're gonna definitely help the industry. I've never been to the facility before. Um, I know some people that work here, so I came over to see them and then also check out what this facility has to offer. And from the looks at it, they offer full service for all kinds of different things. Prototype machining, prototype molding, and such. I didn't know that the city of Plymouth was one of the top uh, med device uh, centralized areas. Uh, it was fun to see the mayor talk about that and now noticing and looking around many of the companies including ProMed um, as well as a number of others. It's cool to see that there's so much med tech here in the Minneapolis area, especially in Plymouth. Amazing thing that you combine 
is in that's really seeing taking place in the industry is combining pharma and med device, where those two used to be very distinct industries, where you had bio here and you had medical devices here. Now you see them coming together to create a more holistic solution for the for patients out there. And to see that into practice with all the different products that ProMed is doing is just like really, really cool to see. Every chance I get, because I've been a commercial banker, I've worked with lots of companies like ProMed throughout my, my career, you have such more appreciation in, in the role of being in the government and the role of being mayor because you know what happens to go on to make those businesses successful. And it's really hard to run a business and be competitive and meet market demands and understand where markets are going and anticipate those needs and being able to collaborate with all your, your customers. And everything that happens in the world of business today is so much more complex than it used to be. Uh, and you know, I applaud ProMed because I know that's what they do. That's how they add value into their customer relationships are being part of that whole process, being integrated with all their clients uh, and just uh, developing that product to, to make good strides in there. Plymouth has the largest concentration of med tech, med device companies of any city in the United States. So that's due to a lot to companies like ProMed that have chosen to be here and chosen Plymouth to be their home. And so along with Medical Alley, we just want to lend as much support into that industry as we possibly can. Plymouth has the seventh largest city population wise in the state. One thing is little known, Plymouth has the fourth largest GDP of any city in our state. So we have Minneapolis, St. Paul, Bloomington, and then we have Plymouth. I want to just congratulate you, your innovation, your growth, and we're proud that Plymouth is your home. Um, ProMed represents truly the best that med tech companies bring to the community and the world. And there's no doubt, I remember coming through this building the first time, I was telling Wayne and there was a big open space, it might have been even in this area, right here. And it's just like there was the, the south wing of the building and then there was the north wing of the building and all this, and I can't believe it's all filled in at this point. And that's just a testament to your growth and just the positive results this company has had out in the community just here and globally as well. Um, you've helped create a synergy that have attached to other med tech companies and I think that happens where um, that's why people want to be here in the med tech space. Uh, putting Plymouth at the heart of Medical Alley, ProMed has brought an array of high quality jobs to our city, the sort of jobs cities hope to attract and that's so important because uh, from ours, because we have that strong commercial industrial uh, base, we also attract a lot of people that want to live in Plymouth too. Plymouth is a central location. Uh, when I ask and go visit business owners, why do they choose Plymouth to, uh, to have their business? It's because of their access to a lot of the employees, a lot of the engineering, a lot of people that want to be, that are on the western side of the suburbs, and this helps them be closer to their jobs here. Um, we congratulate ProMed on expanding uh, to work within our region, particularly our northwest neighbors. I hate to say it, Maple Grove. But, you know, we tried to find a spot for you, Wayne. Just couldn't find any open spots that were available that, for you to do your expansion in. So we wish you continued uh, good fortune and good work as you go to in, into Maple Grove. And our company has benefited from ProMed being here both, but other companies, people around the world have also benefited from ProMed's work. As a leader in medical molding and automated assembly, ProMed has helped other med tech Firms large and small thrive. Through constant innovation, research, and development, ProMed helps MedTech innovators perfect new devices and products so they can be brought to the market. And this is a critical compo component of getting the latest MedTech and devices into the world to save lives. I mean, that's just so important because it has to do with quality of life. You know, Plymouth, we have, in our city, we have discussions about what adds to the quality of life, and a lot of that is our park and rec departments and all the programming and the parks and the trails. You add a whole different quality of life with what you can do to help people live longer, live healthier, live better in everything they do. You're, you have an array of life-changing products from a multitude of companies that have been possible because of the work done by ProMed. The city of Plymouth 
wishes you continued success. Congratulations on celebrating your 30th anniversary. We're proud you called Plymouth home. It's doing crucial life-saving work. Please let us know when you need help, as Wayne already has. Bent my ear a little bit on some of the Medina Road issues and the expanded parking. We need to hear that. We need to understand what's going well and other things we can need to do to support our business community. So congratulations again on 30 years and here's to success for another 30 years. Thank you.